Hey, my correct people, Orange TV don't come again. I don't bring another to real one corner corner. My people not be small matter. Popular Hollywood act touching a decade as they say that he almost ended it when he discovered that he had a stunt growth. But my people, before we comment fully on the doorway, I go like go on short break, make one sit tight and watch the end. Welcome to Orange TV, a platform where we keep you updated on trending latest matters happening in the world of social media. So if you're new here, don't forget to like, share, turn the notification bell to get on the fire when we drop any video. And to all our amazing returning subscribers, thank you so much for your massive support. We do not take this for granted. And to all our viewers, feel relaxed, enjoy and stay tuned. Come back guys, popular Hollywood act touching a decade is a also known as Ake, has reflected on the challenges he faced while growing up as a result of being diagnosed with a stunted growth. My people know be small matter. The 45 year old, you know, reviewed this in a recent chat with True the Judo War, where he said that he became much disturbed after hearing the doctor announce his condition to his mother. And he later lost the thought, you know, of ending it all because of the the retired growth condition. He gave an illustration saying that something happened when he was nine and six months. So he remembered the doctor saying to his mom, Madam, what he has is stunted growth. Hey, my people, <laughs> it feels so bad, you know, hearing that kind of news. And when he started hearing the words like stunted and retired growth, he cried several times because he was bullied in school and even at home because he wasn't growing properly and that increased the thought of him ending it all <laughs> my people don't be small matter so he went on to thank god that he didn't grow up in lagos so because toddler made bridge no foul <laughs> thank god it didn't happen so he went on to express his gratitude to his mother for her unwavering support throughout the challenging moment so he added that from the first time he met his friend Osita Iheme, also known as Popo, that there was this chemistry between them. And the 45 year old being Ike Deze and the 41 year old being Osita are in own Nigeria actress with the name Aki and Popo, as they do have acted in a, you know several movies together, spanning two decades or more. You know, easy. I understand the trauma, especially in a society where there are fewer encouragement, so much to intimidation, you know, than look by others. But look at him now, even those with infinity growth, it, they can't compare with him. That is great. But I'm glad that he didn't give up. But thank God say him and Aki and Popo no reason and go foul. We all for this, you know, see all these crews and everything they have been doing to entertain us. Real meaning of every cloud has a silver lining, you know, he's loved and God did it. Else, he won't even be, you know, known that much. I understand the pain and most especially the society we found ourselves. Comes with so much intimidation, but thank God for showing them his grace on their lives and, you know, for blessing them with the work of their hands. God is awesome, honestly. Every disappointment is a blessing. It wasn't all about the height, you know, in his growth that matters, but the life and impact in his growth that matters. Honestly, he has a very charming personality though. But in this life, high times always make us stronger. Always focus on where you are going and the reasons, not the distance. So guys, let me know what you think about this in the comment section. On this note, we have come to the end of today's segment. And if this is your first time of watching my videos, don't forget to hit the subscribe button to subscribe to our channel and also follow us on Facebook at Orange TV. See you guys next time till I come here again and thank you so much for watching. Do stay blessed. Bye. I told myself the only thing that will make me just leave home. Yeah. Spend my fire. You know, that's the biggest commodity. It's gold now. <laughs> to come. It can only be your show. Thank you. What a show I have for you today, my guest is the world famous Chinedu Ikedieze, one half of the dynamic duo that we know as Aki and Popo. Now, I'm such a huge fan of Chinedu. I'm such a huge fan of Osita too. I've always known Osita, we've always talked on social media, but Chinedu I've never met. And so when we, we, we invited him and we found out that he's such a huge fan of the show, my heart was filled with warmth. And you could see it, in, we were meeting for the first time, but the warmth was, you know, I love the way we call me Chu. Chu? You know, you, growing up, even as a little boy, I wanted to do many things. You said they called to that time. 
This was such a beautiful episode and I'm so grateful to Shinedu for talking to me about things he has never shared anywhere else. He talked to me about the moment that he heard the doctor tell his mother that he had stunted growth. Something happened when I was like nine, nine years. I was like nine years, six months. Mm. I remember the man saying, Madam, what he has is stunted growth. I saw another word, growth retardation. Mm. I was looking for the meaning, looking for, uh, first of all, how to pronounce that word retardation. My mom no go school now. So, what am I trying to say? Yeah. That was when I started hearing these words, these two words, stunted and retarded mm. growth. He says to me that he's never told anybody this, that he wanted to take his own life when he found that he wasn't growing as other children where he was bullied by friends, by schoolmates, even by his own family. Why they were throwing all those tantrums? I cried. I cried several times. Yeah. I cried, you know. It got bad, dude. There were times I thought of ending it all. Wow. Yes. So as a so child, I, you wanted to take your own life? Yes, at the time, I felt like... Thank God I know grow for the doctor. Don't tell me no foul. <laughs> and he talks to me about why he wishes he were closer to his parents. Um, why he's grateful to his mother for anchoring him. So when I remember how much input my mom, you know, how much she did mm. to see us through, you know, that would draw, make me draw empathy, you know. That's when you would know. Yeah, I become know emotional. I want yes. to, I want to call her. I want to know how she's doing. But you know that kind of relationship that people have with their parents. No. Mm. You talk about the first moment he met Osita. You hear me? From the first day I met Osita, there was this chemistry. Right. It was just there. So I remember, you know, trying to devour him, you know, that day. Even while we were discussing, you know, if you see even the way people were looking at us. We talk about the Aki and Popo like a carpet with the American police. So when I was in the Yofim Academy, something happened. You know, there's a security distance. You will notice that if kids get there, they will pass. <laughs> Me and I got there. We had no money. <laughs> <laughs> I said, hey, dude, hey, dude, train is coming, the train, the train is coming. Before I could separate one from two, you see, don't pass. I love it. <laughs> you know what I did? I was like, ah, 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 ah. I kept my guess like this because I was seeing the camera. Of course, cameras everywhere. I pass. And that train. <laughs> I even got a view of it, look at this one. <laughs> we talk about the remake of Aki and Popo. There's no way you can just do a remake of Aki and with just the two of us. That was why we insisted that, that, that the family must be complete. Yeah, you know? yeah. What do you think of the reception of it? Oh, massive. And we talk about Ada Ame. Ada was like a mother. So it was like losing a part of me. That's the biggest shock of our lives. That's all of us on the Johnson. It broke us. You've never, never, never. When I was in the Yofim Academy, mm. we were coming to school and a, a policeman was just walking around behind me. She tapped me and I thought she was like, where's your dad? <laughs> you know, nothing we're walking away see for you. <laughs> That's not going to see. Honestly, so, at the age of six, the moment I noticed that my younger brother was taller than me. Yeah, yeah. taller than me. I, I think that was when subconsciously hmm. I knew something was wrong with me. Hmm. And sometimes even when I have misunderstanding with my siblings, hmm. they use the same name that they fight, they try to fight other kids off, you know, from calling me. They call me the same name. My mom would always tell me, see, you know you're small. You cannot go and start carrying cement. You cannot go and start carrying wood and say you want to be a furniture. Uh, that, 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 then they call them furniture now. Um, Tapenta, thank you. <laughs> so, so then, you know you cannot do all this. Thing. So the best thing for you is to go and study, go and read your books. So I knew the only weapon I had to conquer the world. Yeah. It's just by going to school. Do you think that because of the roles you were acting, do you have experience that people thought that you didn't even go to university? Yeah. Yeah, that was what I was interested. A lot of times, you know, being in IMT really changed a whole lot of my story. One of my interviews, somebody asked me, come, Chile I watch Akinokwa, and you, you're flawless. Are you sure like, that you don't have a part of this in your character, you know? But I told him, no, I'm not mischievous, but if, you, if there's any need for me to be mischievous. You will show up. I mean, this is life. <laughs> <laughs> you will show up and do it. Growing up, my relationship with my parents is just, come here, have you watched plates? Have you done this? That if you do, we hardly stay together and play. You do have K 
kids, don't you? Yeah, I have. Yeah. But I you don't talk to, about yes, them. Yes, I decided to put them. I am the celebrity, they are yes, not. Not them. So I put them aside. Right. But does it change? Did it affect the way that you decided to raise your children? Yeah, I just want them to be free. Mm -hmm. I don't want to because if you put that celebrity in there, the moment everybody gets to know them, it will affect them. It will affect them. And right. I don't want that. Yeah. You hide them like yes. even your wife, apart yes. from the announcement. Yes. <laughs> you know?